Okay, violin. So pretty. I don't know, in a tough moment, if you were ever just needed help, I feel like it's a good song to listen to, so. Hey y'all, my name's Taylor. I'm a therapist and I love metal music. So let's listen to some metal music and talk about mental health and how you can use the lyrics in this song to hopefully help you create a more positive experience in your day-to-day -day life. Super important. If at any point during this video, something I say or a lyric you hear reminds you of something that you're feeling or you're just going through something hard and you wanna share it, share it in the comments. That's what they're for. Our comments are a support wall. It's a place where you can open up about anything that you're going through and our community will hear you provide support and encouragement right here on YouTube. Anything that you're feeling, feel it all, put it in the comments and we will encourage you. Just tag at heart support. All right, Lacey Sturm of Flyleaf and of Lacey Sturm and Lindsey Sterling created a song together and it's called Breathe With Me. So I'm really excited, let's dive in. Okay, violin. Sounds like that song in the Mandy Moore movie.
voice at the end. Okay, that was cute. Okay, okay. Wow, that was beautiful. I feel like I would listen to that song if I like really needed help remembering to breathe. You know, like I feel like she's just like, I don't know, in a tough moment if you were ever just needed help. I feel like it's a good song to listen to. So thanks, Lacey. It's beautiful. All right, let's talk about it. Go take a deep breath of the open air and don't forget all you will learn there. This is such a simple thing. And honestly, it can go one of both ways. It can be really helpful if you're going through a hard time or it can feel really invalidating if you're going through a hard time. So if it feels invalidating, hold on to it until it feels helpful. But just remembering that there is a lesson in every hard thing that you go through can help you keep holding on through that hard thing. And it's proof if you look back, so practice. You can do it right now. Think of something hard that you went through when you were maybe maybe five years ago. Something that was really challenging for you to work through, something that felt like it was the end of the world. And see if you can find a lesson in it. I bet you can't. If you can't, you may just still be healing from it and that's okay too. But every hard thing that we go through has something to offer us. Even if it's not something we would choose to learn or the way that we would choose to learn it, there is a lesson in each thing. And it's like when you're climbing a mountain, you can look to the top and know that it's all gonna make sense and you're gonna be able to see everything clearly once you get to the top of the mountain. Now when you're climbing it and you're up close and you're on that incline, you can't always see all of the things that are gonna become clear to you once you get to the top. But if you can just keep climbing and trust that you're climbing for a reason, it can help you maintain a positive perspective when you're going through something that doesn't feel very positive. Finding a place to trust and believe that it's all happening for a reason. I know sometimes that feels really annoying to hear and if you're not there yet, that's okay. But even if there's a tiny piece of you that can believe that and look for that, hold on to that piece. Are you going through something difficult, something challenging, something that it feels like you can't see the purpose of or doesn't make sense to you in this moment? Share in the comments below by tagging at heart support and we'll provide encouragement. Cause back underwater, it only gets darker. So burn in your memory the way to keep breathing. Okay, so I'm a therapist, but I also teach fitness classes. And something that I notice is that therapy and mental health and exercise have a lot of similarities. And one of those similarities is that when we're going through something like normal, day-to-day -day life, not too challenging, just an average level of hard, because being a human can be hard in general. It can be easy to breathe. It's easy to keep up with our habits. It's easier to take slow, deep breaths, to pause instead of react. But when things start to get hard, it's almost like we forget. Like when we're walking on a treadmill, it's easy to take big, deep breaths. But when we're running on a treadmill, our breath starts to really get shallow and frantic. And what happens when we do that is we actually are making something that's hard already harder. Whereas if we were breathing the way that we normally breathe when we walk, we would be able to maintain a longer run. It wouldn't feel as challenging. Same thing when we're going through something hard. We often neglect the practices that we know help us. We often forget the patterns and we fall off of the routines that are supportive for us. That's why it's so important when we are doing well to lock in and create a toolkit that helps us when things are not going well. It's easier to start waking up early. It's easier to start a meditation practice, to start going to a therapist when you're feeling okay than it is when it feels like your world's falling apart. Just like it's easier to breathe normally when you're walking on the treadmill than it is when you're running on the treadmill. So when I hear this lyric, burn in your memory the way to keep breathing, it reminds me of how important it is to start these patterns that help us when things get hard before things get hard. That's why I always recommend people start therapy when they're not in a time of crisis. If you're in a time of crisis, start therapy if you haven't yet. But if you're thinking about it, don't wait because if you start therapy before you're in a time of crisis, then you give your therapist an opportunity to know you. You're already in the habit of going. 
They're better able to support you than if you start when everything feels urgent. Why, when I start a workout class, I always invite people to focus on their breath at the beginning so that then when I remind them halfway through class to keep breathing, to deepen their breath, it's just a reminder. It's not something that they have to completely change that they haven't been doing. So that's my encouragement. Use this time to burn into your memory the way to keep breathing, to practice coming back to your breath, to practice maintaining your routines. If you are going through something right now, if you're working on starting a routine, building your mental health, your wellness toolbox, and you could use some help, comment below by tagging at heart support. We'd love to support you in this. When you're sinking lower than you've ever been, keep fighting the current that lies within. This reminds me of a book I often recommend to my clients called The Untethered Soul. And it talks about how we all have this current of experiences that runs through us. And we either allow things to pass through us, like we're driving down the road and we pass the trees and they just pass by and the cars and they just pass by, or we allow things to get stuck in our current. And typically it's either positive, very positive things that we try to cling to, or negative things that get stuck. And when things get stuck and they build up and we don't process them, they start to affect the lens in which we see the world. And we start to see things, if we don't process the painful things that come, we start to see things with this negative lens because we have all of this negative current flowing inside of us. So it really is like a war to keep fighting the current that lies within. And actually the practice is to not fight, but to release. When something happens that reminds you of a past situation, to acknowledge it, honor that you're feeling that way, to say, I am feeling a lot of feelings right now and that's okay, to let the feelings come and then without judgment to let them go. And it's a continued practice over and over again to experience, to notice without judgment what you're experiencing and then to let it go. Just like trees passing by as you drive down the road. And when you come across something that triggers something within you that activates your current, your negative lens in which you see the world, to do that same thing over and over so that you can start to release some of the things that have already been stored. It can be really, really difficult and sound really difficult, but it actually doesn't have to be. Maybe in a past relationship you were cheated on and then you see a text message from someone else on your girlfriend's phone from a guy and you feel that negative lens start to get triggered and all of a sudden you start to feel like you can't trust her. Instead of letting it live within you and not acknowledging it and pushing it down or blowing up, you can say, oh, I noticed that this is triggering some old feelings in me from a painful past experience. I'm gonna feel that and I'm gonna let it go. And why that's so powerful is because you're not just letting go of the current experience where you saw that text message, you're also starting to let go of the past painful experience as well. And when you do that over and over, you start to clear your lens back out. You get a new filter. It's not as dark tinted. It's maybe a little more clear. And so it takes time and it's a practice and sometimes it's hard. But if you want to clear out that negative filter, it's the only way to go. Pause, notice what comes up, allow it to come up and then let it go intentionally. If there's something or you notice that you have a negative filter, that you see the world in a way that doesn't feel supportive or helpful to you, Share what it is in the comments. Share how you think you got there. Share what feels hard about letting it go. And we will support you and encourage you. Just tag at Heart Support and tell us what's going on. Okay. I love you guys. And I love this song. I love it. I love Breathe With Me. I love Lacey and the violin. Okay, Lindsay, it's beautiful. Like girl power in this moment. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope that you have a really great day. And I love you.